The road of blame is only against those who ask for leave of thee to stay at home when they are rich. They are content to be with the useless. Allah hath sealed their hearts so that they know not. They will make excuse to you, Muslims, when ye return unto them. Say, Make no excuse, for we shall not believe you. Allah hath told us tidings of you. Allah and his messenger will see your conduct, and then ye will be brought back unto him who knoweth the invisible as well as the visible, and he will tell you what ye used to do. They will swear by Allah unto you when ye return unto them, that ye may let them be. Let them be, for lo, they are unclean, and their abode is hell as the reward for what they used to earn. They swear unto you that ye may accept them. Though ye accept them, Allah verily accepteth not wrongdoing folk. The wandering Arabs are more hard in disbelief and hypocrisy and more likely to be ignorant of the limits which Allah hath revealed unto his messenger. And Allah is knower, wise. And of the wandering Arabs there is he who taketh that which he expendeth for the cause of Allah as a loss and awaiteth evil turns of fortune for you that he may be rid of it. The evil turn of fortune will be theirs. Allah is hearer, knower. And of the wandering Arabs there is he who believeth in Allah and the last day and taketh that which he expendeth and also the prayers of the messenger as acceptable offerings in the sight of Allah. Lo, verily, it is an acceptable offering for them. Allah will bring them unto his mercy. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. And the first to lead the way of the Muhajireen and the Ansar and those who followed them in goodness. Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with him. And he hath made ready for them gardens underneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. That is the supreme triumph. And among those around you of the wandering Arabs, there are hypocrites. And among the townspeople of al Madina, there are some who persist in hypocrisy, whom thou, O Muhammad, knowest not. We, we know them, and we shall chastise them twice. Then they will be relegated to a painful doom. And there are others who have acknowledged their faults. They mixed a righteous action with another that was bad. It may be that Allah will relent toward them. Lo, Allah is relenting, merciful. Take arms of their wealth wherewith thou mayst purify them, and mayst make them grow and pray for them. Lo, thy prayer is an assuagement for them. Allah is hearer, knower. Know they not that Allah is he who accepteth repentance from his bondmen and taketh the alms, and that Allah is he who is the relenting, the merciful. And say unto them, Act. Allah will behold your actions, and so will his messenger and the believers, and ye will be brought back to the knower of the invisible and the visible, and he will tell you what ye used to do. And there are others who await Allah's decree, whether he will punish them or will forgive them. Allah is knower, wise. And as for those who chose a place of worship out of opposition and disbelief, and in order to cause dissent among the believers, and as an outpost for those who warred against Allah and His Messenger aforetime, they will surely swear, We purposed naught save good. Allah beareth witness that they verily are liars. Never stand to pray there a place of worship which was founded upon duty to Allah from the first day, is more worthy that thou shouldst stand to pray therein 
wherein are men who love to purify themselves. Allah loveth the purifiers. Is he who founded his building upon duty to Allah and his good pleasure better? Or he who founded his building on the brink of a crumbling, overhanging precipice, so that it toppled with him into the fire of hell? Allah guideth not wrongdoing folk. The building which they built will never cease to be a misgiving in their hearts, unless their hearts be torn to pieces. Allah is knower, wise. Lo, Allah hath bought from the believers their lives and their wealth, because the garden will be theirs. They shall fight in the way of Allah, and shall slay and be slain. It is a promise which is binding on him in the Torah and the Gospel and the Quran. Who fulfilleth the covenant better than Allah? Rejoice then in your bargain that ye have made, for that is the supreme triumph. Triumphant are those who turn repentant to Allah, those who serve Him, those who praise Him, those who fast, those who bow down, those who fall prostrate in worship, those who enjoin the right and who forbid the wrong, and those who keep the limits ordained of Allah and give glad tiding to believers. It is not for the Prophet and those who believe to pray for the forgiveness of idolaters, even though they may be near of kin to them, after it hath become clear that they are people of hellfire. The prayer of Abraham for the forgiveness of his father was only because of a promise he had promised him. But when it had become clear unto him that he, his father, was an enemy to Allah, he, Abraham, disowned him. Lo, Abraham was soft of heart, long-suffering. It was never Allah's part that he should send a folk astray after he had guided them, until he had made clear unto them what they should avoid. Lo, Allah is aware of all things. Lo, Allah. Unto him belongeth the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth. He quickeneth and he giveth death. And ye have, instead of Allah, no protecting friend nor helper. Allah hath turned in mercy to the Prophet, and to the Muhajireen and the Ansar, who followed him in the hour of hardship. After the hearts of a party of them had almost swerved aside, then turned he unto them in mercy. Lo, he is full of pity, merciful for them.